On Easter Sunday, we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. But after that, Jesus also ascended into heaven. What is the ascension and what does the ascension mean for us as Christians? Keep watching to find out. Hello there and welcome back to Captivated by Him. It's Elisa and Jen and we're so glad you can join us today. We are both super excited as it's almost Easter Sunday. Jen and I both love Easter because it is when we celebrate the day that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, rose from the grave. This truth is a joy for us as Christians because without Christ's death and resurrection on the cross, we cannot have a relationship with God. That is so true, Elisa. It's always so humbling for me to think about and meditate on the gospel around Easter. I think about how we're all sinful and we all fall short of God's standard, as it says in Romans 3.23. And we all deserve to be eternally separated from a holy God because of our sin. Yet God, knowing that we ourselves could not pay the debt of our sins, lovingly sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to pay for the punishment of our sins. Jesus not only lived a perfect life, but He innocently died on the cross so that our sins could be forgiven. As I think about the Gospel, it brings me great joy knowing that the story does not end there. In three days, Christ resurrected from the grave, proving that His sacrifice and death on the cross were sufficient to fully pay the punishment of the sins of the world. Yes, Jesus resurrected in triumphant victory over sin and death. And this is what we celebrate on Easter. Jesus' work on the cross allowed sinners like you and me and Jen to be seen as righteous in the sight of God. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. So when we place our faith in Jesus, believe that His sacrifice on the cross was sufficient to save us from our sins and commit to following Christ in everything, then we can have a relationship with God for eternity because Christ has already paid our debt of sin on the cross. What an amazing truth that we get to celebrate on Easter. And I can't help but praise God for His unconditional love towards us and His mercy and grace to send us His Son Jesus Christ to be our Savior. Amen. Jesus is worthy to receive our honor and praise, and He now has the most honored position in heaven. Following His triumphant resurrection, Mark 16, 19 tells us, So then, when the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, He was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. Jesus Christ now sits in glory at the right hand of God, showing that His work to save sinners from eternal death was complete. It boggles my mind to think about how amazing it must have been to be the disciples and followers of Jesus and to see the resurrected Jesus Christ. Not only that, but it amazes me to imagine what it must have been like to see Christ being received up into heaven. When the Bible talks about Christ being received up into heaven in Mark 16, 19, it's talking about Christ's ascension. In the original Greek language that the Gospel of Mark was written in, the word for he was received means to be taken up. So at his ascension, Christ was literally taken up into heaven. We can also see other passages in the Bible describing this in the books of Luke and Acts. Luke 24, 51 says, While he was blessing them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And Acts 1, 9 to 11 says, and after he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were looking on, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And as they were gazing intently into the sky while he was going, behold, two men in white clothing stood beside them. They also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in just the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. These passages tell us that Jesus really did ascend into heaven. He didn't just disappear like a magician's act, but He visibly rose up from the ground in such a way that the disciples were able to observe it. He ascended into heaven to return to His rightful place in heaven. And Christ's ascension should bring Christians a lot of joy and excitement this Easter. In fact, His ascension is important for us because it shows that His earthly mission to save sinners was complete. But not only that, Christ also received the glory that He deserves. 
That's right. While on this earth, Christ humbled himself. And we can see this in Philippians 2, 6-7, which says, Who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant, and being made in the likeness of men. Jesus humbly came to earth to be our perfect substitute and sacrifice. He was also scorned and crucified by men. But with his death, resurrection, and finally his ascension, Christ returned to his heavenly glory and was exalted by the Father to the highest position at the right hand of God. Christ is also now interceding on the behalf of Christians like you and me. Romans 8.27 says, and he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Jesus intercedes on behalf of believers and advocates for us before the Father by pointing to his own death and resurrection as the sufficient payment for sins. Jesus' ascension into heaven is another truth that we can thank and praise God for this Easter. His ascension into heaven visibly marked the completion of his earthly ministry. Christ returned to his place of honor in heaven, and he continues to intercede on the behalf of those who believe in the work of his death and resurrection on the cross to save us from our sins. When we think about Christ's death, resurrection, and ascension, we can have the same response that the disciples did after his ascension of worshiping and praising God with great joy. Sisters, may we remember this Easter that Jesus has indeed defeated sin and death and has ascended into heaven. He sits on his heavenly throne and is worthy of our honor and praise and of our obedience to bring him glory as our Lord and Savior. If this video was encouraging to you, please give it a like. And if you want to learn more about living for Christ, please subscribe to our channel to be notified of future videos. We hope that you can remember the joy that our Savior has resurrected and ascended into heaven this Easter and share that joy with others. And until next time, stay, stay captivated. captivated. Like if you think of a rocket, like you still see her go up. Okay, that's not how I didn't imagine Jesus' spaceship. I imagine Jesus <laughs> like, oh. <laughs>